hi everyone welcome to the channel um so as you can see we have bought a couple of things uh one is this new sony bravia um x 90 l 75 inches uh, we've been waiting for a long time to buy this and uh, we were just waiting for the newest model uh, last year's model was the x 90 k uh, but we waited a couple of more months for this to launch and if you can all see we got a good deal um, in chroma and so we bought this sound bar along with the tv which is a5000 uh, just the sound bar uh, because uh, the overall package with the subwoofer and the rear speakers was too costly um, it itself costed us almost around uh, 75k um, so i think we were okay with just being having the soundbar as of now and you can always upgrade that later to a, a full system so as you can see the sony technicians came the very next day um, they were helping you know we wanted to be a uh, wall mount uh, the table stand were included in the box but uh, they brought the wall mount and as you can see they are making the marks on where they want to put that tv both were very professional uh, they were informing each and everything to us and i think uh, the whole experience was very good right as you can see they are aligning the center marks um, and basically like i wanted to shoot this video just for the purpose of demo and installation you can find a lot of uh, videos on youtube regarding like the review of the tv i guess you can definitely watch it over there but this was an inexperience in person experience of the tv and the sound buds installation at home and i just wanted to share that with all of you um as you can see like one good thing that i didn't know that we didn't needed any drills to put holes on the backboard or on the wall so this was a very easy setup as you can see he's just taking the screw and with just uh, without any drill they are making all of these settings to mount the TV so there was not a lot of uh, uh, dirty things you know kind of uh, put all over the place so this was very neat and clean setup uh, now as you can see they are unboxing the soundbar A5000 Hello. with both we have got the warranty card um, which they helped us sign it later Huh? all right the mount is almost pretty much set i did have uh, the ps4 as well which i wanted to utilize later and uh, as you can see once the tv is mounted and it's a very big and a heavy tv it is not easily movable so as you can see the big wire on the wall that's the additional hdmi that i had bought uh so that so, also one thing to note is uh, it was not so easy is wall mounted to you know kind of plug in any additional HDMI's or remove something. It is on the left side as you can see on the back, but it was tough for me to put my hands over there to you know kind of change the HDMI's later. As you can see, I did buy both of these because of one reason as for the compatibility for both the soundbar and the TV. And as you can see, there is one HDMI already put in, in the ERC plug, which is going, going, to, going to go into the soundbar. And there is this additional 3.5 mm jack, which goes into the system speaker and then connects to the soundbar as well. So what this does is, uh, in case if you don't uh, put that 3.5 mm jack between the soundbar, the sound is only going to come from the soundbar, either from the TV or from the soundbar. But because of that setup, uh, it becomes a 360 degree overall uh, soundbar experience so you get the sound from the soundbar plus from the tv as well just because of that additional 3.5 mm plus the hdmi erc setup um, one thing to note here is that this is not uh, an easy setup and not to be done by yourself once the tv is delivered please wait for the sony technicians to come in as you can see it is taking both of them and both of their effort to put this huge 75 inch tv and it's a very heavy tv on the wall but it was a very straight setup. They did all of that. So one thing, another thing to note was like they didn't wait for the newest firmware to come in, right? 
uh, as soon as they plugged in they had their latest firmware in a usb drive which they connected and uh, helped us uh, get the latest firmware onto the tv you will see that very soon enough uh, one additional thing that he's been telling me was not to clean the surface with uh, colin or anything it's just to be wiped down with a dry towel or something like that as you can see the power rating stickers and all the new features of x9tl all right now the tv has booted on you can see the sony tv uh, there are two wires that are coming out one is the hdmi from the e tv ka double lock kahan pe rakhte hain sir and jack both are which going to go into the sound bar later <laughs> as you can see you now they are making the setup in the sound bar and i'm going to place that sound bar just right above my tv unit that i have created over there they also helped us to the initial sound setup bad. it was very easy you need to have your wifi connection there which i had dheere kariyega mereko aur ek step dekhna to go and set up the tv right now ek second ab ke upar kya hai right as you can see which i was saying later they connected with the usb drive and now they are updating the tv software to the latest version and it's done at this point in time they were showing me the new bravia uh bravia core uh and like we have like got 10 credit points over there uh, so they have this uh bravia so, core where you can you can watch the new and latest movies in the 80 mbps uh, speed right and uh, this gives us a imax and as experience it showed me a trailer there which was really good and uh, these credits were like i think only available for uh, the bravia xr series i think anything below 90 series you get 5 credit points and for the 90 series and the oled series you get 10 credit 